Hello world and how are you doing? Today let's talk more Blender tools. If you have ever used Motherless Designer before, switching back to Blender to do cloth simulations can seem like going back to the stone age to reinvent the wheel. It's harsh. While there has been a lot of work done to Blender cloth sculpting tools, there is still a big gap between Blender cloth simulations and Motherless Designer. A big gap I'm excited to let you know is shrinking by the hour because of the Blender add-on community. Today you don't have to last for Motherless Designer to create realistic cloth simulations. For that, let me introduce you to Simply Cloth, a Blender add-on that lets you create realistic cloth simulations, just like Motherless Designer. It's fast, easy to use, and most importantly, it works. There are hundreds of garment presets, and the add-on is always updated, and the tool is customizable for efficiency. It's also fully integrated in Blender, so no need for exporting exchange formats to use in other applications. Everything can be done inside Blender. So let's dive in and see how it works download link is going to be in the description if you want to check it out yourself so after you have downloaded the add-on just go under edit preferences add-ons install and find where you have downloaded the add-on and then just find the zip file and then hit install activate the add-on and now if you hit n you should find the add-on in the tools panel if you click on this you can see the different presets we have so let's say we want to use this you just select it and you should see uh, a pattern of that added when you create a pattern a cloth pattern you get this mesh and it has these sewing patterns uh, that will help you sew the front side out of the back side and all you have to do is reposition uh, this so that the front side is in the front and that the back side is in the back and that there is no intersection with the mesh uh, if you see that there is intersection you just have to go to edit mode and select the, si the side that is intersecting and push it forward so that it's not intersecting anymore and after that you have to hit uh, before you hit play to simulate make sure that you select the mesh the character mesh and hit activate uh, to give it a collision pattern a collision property so that the cloth can interact with the mesh or the mesh is added into consideration when creating the cloth simulation so now after you're done you just select the garment and hit play and that should uh, give you uh, the simulation so i think we need to reposition this a bit uh, so i'm just going to undo this and uh, maybe scale the character down just a bit further again and uh, select the mesh and now you can see what we have with just using a few simple clicks very very fast results you can see the details in the cloth and uh, if you want more resolution you just have to increase uh, the subdivisions under uh, under the subdivision modifier and you can also change the type of clothing are uh, you using so you can select uh, cotton deming leather or any other presets you, are, you have so it's very very intuitive to use and uh, and uh, a perfect tool to create garments and cloth simulation for you so 